All right, let's go into this Ruin of Demise story and see what we can get. I like this deck. This deck is fun. What do I get from this? Please be the ritual. Ritual for gone. That doesn't, that's not it. Special summon a ritual monster from your hand, but it cannot attack also during. There's a reason that's a common. Oh well. <clears throat> I'm glad they actually made this into a full-on ritual deck rather than just like two cards that were ritual monsters for no reason or for not no reason but whatever when a world is about to perish it is seen on its way by two beings the first is red being that enveloped in gold light and draws the curtain on the world wow that's i've never looked at the arts up close that's really nice artwork she is an androgynous goddess garbed in red robes. I need to figure out what that word means. She is a god with no believers that's only natural. A world visited by the goddess Ruin is on the path to destruction. Really? Any intelligent life that would believe in and worship that god would soon cease to exist. The second is black, being that envelops the world in blue flames, which pulverizes the earth. I like that we get to see these cards way up close because, like, my vision's not the best, but, like, seeing these cards in, like, full detail, really nice. Like, I, I didn't know he wore a crown, although he was called the King of Demise, so I guess it makes sense. But, I mean, like, his hair is a lot more visually there, I suppose. A towering, omnipotent demon king adorned in black armor. He is a king with no vassals. That's only natural. A world visited by the demon king, Demise, will soon meet its end. Those who would respect and serve that king would soon have their very lives destroyed. Okay. I'm starting to sense a pattern. So were, were they like together? Can you like clarify on that? Other than just what their backstory is? What? Okay. Oh, yes. I get to continue my light, my element savers after this. Good, good, good. Because I've been trying to. Okay, so this is a ritual deck. I did like this deck because it was rituals. And it's one of those ritual decks that I heavily use the incantations in. Alright, here we go. Demise and Ruin. Ritual monsters can all be brought out with the ritual spell. End of the world. Demise allows you to pay life to destroy all other cards on the field except itself. And Ruin has the ability to make another attack once it destroys an opponent's monster in battle. Pick which one to ritual summon by taking its consideration what's on your opponent's field and you could deal a ton of devastating damage. Alright. These are not very good. This is not a very good deck, but it is fun. Oh, it is very good against this. Look, look at this little guy. Look. End of the world. Wow, how did I get that? It's like it was destined. You've drawn End of the World. Yep. Activate the End of the World and Ritual Summon Ruin Queen of Oblivion. Absolutely. There we go. End of the World. Activate. There we go. And Summon. I like that there's a shadow of the Emperor behind. No, is that the Emperor? No, it's just darkness. You successfully ritual summoned Ruin Queen of Oblivion. When Ruin Queen of Oblivion destroys an opponent's monster in battle, it can attack again. Now attack your opponent's monster. Okay. You destroyed your opponent's monster in battle. Activate the effect. Okay, thanks. You just told me to do that before. 
Nice. You inflicted great damage on your opponent. Now end your turn. <laughs> That's not how this game works. If you don't win on the first turn, you lose. Oh, doesn't anyone know that? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh no. You brought up the swords of revealing light. What will I ever do? I'll have to draw the King of Demise. The King of Armageddon. The King Demise Armageddon. King of... I need to draw this card. <laughs> you cannot attack right now because of your opponent's swords of revealing light effect. Really? Cycle of the world and ritual summon Demise King of the... Okay. Thanks. It's so funny that they basically made the same ritual spell, and it even says it counts as end of the world, I believe. But it's not the original end of the world. Demise King of... Dude, the art on that is great. Yep. 82,000 life points. Okay. I believe the lower forms of the... Of these cards were like a... When you use this card for ritual summoning, your you... This unit can attack twice, or this unit doesn't have to pay up for effects or something like that. It's... It's something along those lines. Alright. Attack. Yep. This is a game. 14. What? I should have been able to attack again. Did I not pick it correctly? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was really confused. This is why I like having the game automated, because sometimes I forget about stuff like this. How much is this? Ooh, 450. And what do I get out of this? Oh, I get that little guy? That's cute. That and 200. All right, and please be the deck. Oh, yes! Oh, I love it. I don't have to pull for any of this. But I probably still will. As it's going to have the ritual stuff. Oh, that is some good... That is unique. I like that. The red being, ruined queen of oblivion, brings to the world a reversal of time. When evil is spread throughout civilization, and when the world's end is in sight, the red being returns the world to a state before that chaos of evil occurred. There are cases in which this reversal may restore the world to a primordial primordial state full of intelligent life. In this way, the world is reborn with hope that life will transpire on the correct path. For those living in the current world, this would be synonymous with extinction. The process of rewinding the world to promote the proper development of life. What if the world continually takes a wrong path, no matter how many times it restarts? The black being, demise king of Armageddon, brings about the true end of the world. Its formidable power crushes the world's very foundation and eradicates all things. There remains no trace that the world was there, only absolute nothingness. I wonder how long it takes for him to do that. The queen of oblivion and king of Armageddon what lies in the hearts of a being who witnesses the destruction of the world countless times over eons. That remains unknown to those who disappear. They didn't even, like, say what their relationship is. They just destroy things. Uh, sure, I guess. Makes sense. No, no, thank you. Not right now. Well... That was the Ruin of Demise. Oh, there's the Megaliths next? Ooh, I might go with Megalith next instead, because, you know, the Karakuri are interesting. But I'm all about those rituals, come on. <laughs> I'm just gonna follow the story, though. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.